In this tutorial, we will see how a teacher evaluates a student by using the Learning Analytics and Reads rubric. For this purpose, we will go to our example course, scroll down to the last section of the course, and click Our Assignment. We then click View or Grade All Submissions. And now, we can see the list of all of our students, three of them are already graded, so let's grade Lisa. This is how our Learning Analytics and Reads rubric looks during evaluation, so let's see how it works. For the first criterion, we want to check simple occurrences and the enrichment benchmark is 18. This means that in both of these course modules, the student has added a post or talked 18 times. The enrichment evaluation procedure marked the appropriate range of values here, and thus this level gets automatically picked. The evaluator cannot change the level picked by the procedure in order for the system to preserve consistency and objectivity for the evaluation of all students under the same criteria providing that the enrichment works without logical errors. Let's add a remark for this result. The next criterion checks file submissions and the enrichment benchmark is zero. This means that the student hasn't uploaded any files in these forums. The enrichment evaluation procedure marked the appropriate range of values here, and thus this label gets automatically picked. Let's add a remark for this result. The next criterion checks how many times a student has replied to other students' posts in forums. The enrichment benchmark is 12, which means that in all these forums the student has made 12 replies. Thus, the enrichment evaluation procedure marked the appropriate range of values here, and so this label gets automatically picked. Let's also add a remark for this result. The next criterion calculates the total number of unique people this student has interacted in all of these course modules. The enrichment benchmark is 6, which means that this student has interacted with 6 other students, so the enrichment evaluation procedure marked the appropriate range of values here, thus this level gets automatically picked. Let's also add a remark for this result. Now this criterion is very special. It calculates this student's grades as opposed to the grades of all students including the one who is now being graded. When the enrichment evaluation procedure detects calculations conducted according to others, there are two kinds of benchmarks displayed. One that refers to all the students accounted and another for the student currently evaluated. That way, the evaluator gets a global scope of the calculation benchmarks. So, in this case, the student average is 33 points and the currently evaluated student is 50. Keep in mind that in order for these results to be consistent, all grades from the selected course modules are automatically converted to 100 grading scale. So, according to these findings, the enrichment evaluation procedure marked the appropriate range of values here and so this level gets automatically picked. Let's add another remark and move on to the next criterion. This criterion calculates how many times the student has viewed these course resources. The enrichment benchmark is 5, which means that the student has seen all of these resources together 5 times. Thus, the enrichment evaluation procedure marked the appropriate range of values here and so this label gets automatically picked. Let's also add a remark for this result. The last criterion is also special. It also calculates this student's grades but for a previous assignment that hasn't been graded yet. So this is an enrichment logical error because there are no data to retrieve for calculations. That's why the enrichment benchmark could not be found. To override this kind of errors, there is a special option checked during the creation of this rubric called Override Automatic Criterion Evaluation in Case of Enrichment Logical Error. So, because that option was engaged, the evaluator can now pick his own label according to what he believes is right. 
So let's pick this label and add a corresponding remark. The rubric creator should keep in mind that if that particular option was not picked, student evaluation would not be possible in case of enrichment logical errors. Let's also give an overall remark for this evaluation and click Save Changes. Here we can see the outcome of our evaluation in this student's grade and that's how we can grade a student using a learning analytics and rich rubric.